I'd start out just uh, kind of give a thought about reacting, seeing the, the bracket come out last night, and seeing you're playing Wichita State. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, seeing your name pop up on the screen, no matter if it's the the, the big dance or the NIT, it, it was a it was a cool moment, <clears throat> and we we all were at a. Uh, Coach Richie's, and you know we were all excited for it. Um, you know it's a huge opportunity for us, and you know we we couldn't be more excited. Jordan, how did you react when you saw that TV moment? <clears throat> Man, like Matt said, it was it was awesome. You know it's something that you know you're really proud of. Shows just you know our, our hard work and what we've done as a unit and what we've done as a program. You know we've come a long way, and you know to even be in a at large discussion for the for the big dance and then be able to get a get a three seed in the NIT, you know, that's awesome. That's something that this program um, has been working for. And to be able to host Wichita State um, here at Timmins, you know, that's that's something special. And like Matt said, it's a big opportunity for us. I know the whole program's excited for it. It probably speaks a lot to the fans. I mean, you're, you're playing host to a, a game. I mean, maybe they, they thought you might get in, but after travel. I mean, that would be a real thrill knowing, especially against a team that was in the Final Four a few years ago. Absolutely. I mean, it's a big opportunity. You know, it's something that we're so fortunate for, and, you know, it shows that, you know, when a, when a program works hard, you know, you can accomplish a lot of things. And that's something that we've done and we've taken a lot of pride in. And, you know, we're excited to be able to have this opportunity to play again here and play in front of our fans and host a really good program, a really good coach. And, you know, they play well. And, you know, that's a big-time opportunity for us. We're excited for it. Matt, can you talk about the uh, you know, journey from when you got here to yesterday, you were watching the NCAA selection show, hoping to hear from his name call. Mm -hmm. I mean, what what was that experience like to know how far you've come, you know, with this program? Yeah, kind of like Jordan said, it's a process. Um, I mean, and we tried to enjoy every step of the process, but this year was definitely the highest part of it. Um, you know, the past couple of years, we didn't. Uh, if we lost in the tournament, we knew we were going to CIT or C CBI or um, just not playing at all. So this year, having a chance to, you know, have an at-large um, in in either of the tournaments was was big for us, um, and it shows where this program's going and and what what the guys and the coaches and the community is has uh, rallied around to turn it around. Your last home game would have been the Wofford. Yeah. Did you? I mean, you probably walked off the court thinking that may have been it. So what, it must have been a little bit of a thrill to know you get to play at least one more home game. Yeah. It's cool. Um, you know, we're good at home. The fans, uh, we always appreciate them. Um, it, you know, it saves us from traveling uh, the next couple of days, and uh, I think that benefits us. Um, but yeah, we're we're really excited, and it's been a, um, you know, thinking that was my last home game. Uh, I'm trying to trying to go out on a little better note than that. Jordan, um, how much have you had a chance to look at Wichita State and, and some of their personnel, and um, what do you know about them overall? Yeah, I, uh, I looked at them a little bit last night. I watched a little bit of film last night. They have a 6'8 a kid named Marcus McDuffie, who's very, very talented. Um, he's 6'8", he's long, he can shoot it, plays like a guard. Um, I watched a lot of him last night. Um, I looked at a little bit of their, their personnel. I mean, they're a really good team. I mean, I know they, they started kind of slow in the American, and I think they've won like eight out of their last 11, or. 11 out of 14, something, something like that. But they've won a lot of games um, here as of late, and they really turned it on in a really good league. The Americans are a really good league. So we know they're going to be really talented. We know they're going to have a lot of great players. Greg Marshall is an outstanding coach. Um, the program is awesome. So like I said, it's a big-time opportunity for us, you know, to be able to have a team like Wichita State come in here and to be able to play at Timmins, like, that's amazing. And that's something that we should cherish and we should be happy for and we should work our butts off for. And it's a game that we know we can win, and that's the expectation. So it's going to be an awesome environment. You know, they're a really good team. Um, you know, I'm excited to be able to, to get this game plan together and execute it to the best of our ability. Is the, I don't want to say overconfidence, but is, is the confidence that you, maybe you can knock off an American team, especially because you have them at home, but based on the mm -hmm. fact of the early season wins and maybe had you not beaten Villanova or Loyola, you might not feel that confidence, but you, you've beaten some big teams outside of this league. How much does that play into kind of the mindset getting ready for this game? Yeah, it definitely helps. I mean, we know we've we've went up to the highest level and we've we've came out victorious, and that's just kind of the the guy, the kind of the team we have. Like we have a lot of belief in each other, we have a lot of confidence in our abilities, and 
You know, every time we step on the floor, no matter who we're playing, our expectation is to win the game, and we're going to do whatever we can to do that and do it to our best of our abilities and listen to the, co the game plan our coaches put together and try and execute it to the best we can, and we know that they're going to put us in the best situations to be able to win a game. And that's the approach we take in every night, and, you know, this, this Wednesday will be no different, and we're, we're very excited for it. Um, we respect them. We know they're a very good program. Um, but like I said, we believe in each other, and we believe in each other's uh, confidence and, and our talents. And, you know, it's definitely a game that, that we expect to be able to come out victorious. Matt, um, you played as a freshman at the CEI at Goodfield. Jordan, you played the CIP as a freshman at Goodfield. Mm -hmm. What can this experience do for the younger guys on this team? I think it sets a standard. Um, you know, if this is the worst we're going to do, um, that's okay. But the freshmen need to understand that this is where it's at now, and uh, we got to do this or better, um, and preferably better, uh, get into the tournament. So um, I think I think it sets a good standard for them. I think it shows them how hard they need to work. Um, you know, buying into the process and the way we play, and uh, you know, taking it taking it one day at a time. Um, but I think it's a it's a good stepping stone for them. I think it'll give them good experience and you know be a fun experience for everybody. Was there added motivation through Matt and then Jordan when you saw the bracket, you saw who was on the next lines of the bracket, and the fact that you know here in the neighborhood if things work out this week, it, it could be a really interesting matchup if you're able to win. Yeah, uh, playing Clemson would be cool. Um, you know, it would be it would be a good experience. Uh, we never we've never played them in our college career, um, but, you know, we got to focus on this first game and, you know, get this one done first. Yeah, I agree. Like Matt said, you know, that, that'd be really cool to be able to go up the street and play them. But, you know, if, if, if we look ahead to that right now and, and don't focus on Wednesday, we won't have that opportunity. So, you know, it's, it's most important that we take today and tomorrow to, to focus on Wichita and put the best game plan together that we can. And if it all lines up, and and our next round, we'll, we're able to go down there. That that'd be amazing. But right now, we got to focus on on Wichita and and focus on getting that one and take it take this thing one game at a time. And you know, if we do that, it should all work out. Did, you might have mentioned earlier. Did you guys like know any of the Wichita kids from AAU? Uh, any guys in the roster you would have played against in the summer, or maybe the Atlanta area? Yeah. Or um, I don't know anybody on that team. Um, my mom, my mother's from Kansas, so there's a little bit of Wichita connections in my family. No, I'm kidding. Uh, where's, where's Kansas? She from? Uh, she's from Kansas City, Kansas. Yeah. So, so. as in, like, you'd go out there when you were a kid to see relatives, that kind of. Oh yeah, thing. yeah. Oh yeah. Been to Wichita State? I have not been to Wichita State. I know I, I have a couple cousins who have been there and who have went there, but yeah. um, I have never been there before. But um, it'll be exciting. I don't know anybody on that team, but yeah. I know they have good players, so that's always exciting. Matt, uh, as a senior, and obviously you are slowly focused on Wichita at the moment, but you could end up, you could have three games at home, or you could end up going to Clemson, or mm -hmm. Illinois kid could end up playing in Indiana for the chance to go to Madison Square Garden. Yep. I mean, I know you wanted to be in the NCAA tournament, but that is a lot of exciting mm -hmm. basketball. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, like I said, the the opportunity we have is a great one. Um, you know, and playing playing Wichita and then possibly Clemson uh, would would all be fun experiences. And then getting getting a chance to go closer to home. Uh, but you know, playing at Ma Madison Square Garden would be huge for us. Um, obviously, none of us have have really gotten that chance before um, on the, on that big of a stage on national TV. So. Um, you know anything new that this program can do to bring light to what we've accomplished and uh, what we've done this season is is, is big. And officially, how is your hand? It's good. It's doing well. Yeah. Was that? I mean, it didn't look like it in the game against UNCG. Did, did it hinder, or once you got into the game, did you not even think about it? Yeah, I wasn't thinking about it uh, as much during the game, but um, you know, it was a little a little pain from. Uh, from the day before, so, uh, but it's it's getting a lot better. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.